हेलो हेलो आई वुड लाइक टू स्टार्ट न्यू लेक्चर टुडे ऑन द स्कैपुलर रीजियन सो गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गाइज हैज यू सी फर्स्ट बिफोर गोइंग टू द मसल्स ऑफ स्कैपुलर रीजियन फर्स्ट लेट एस सी द बोन्स विच आर इन्वॉल्व द बोन्स विच आर सीन इन द स्कैपुलर रीजियन सो this is the clavicle as you know so clavicle uh, this is the medial end of the clavicle and this is the lateral end of the clavicle laterally the scapula sorry the clavicle will be flattened whereas medially the clavicle will be rounded and this is the scapula scapula it has uh, uh, anterior and posterior region uh, so if you see this is the at the posterior part of the scapula with the spine of the scapula and this is the acromion process i think you can see this this is the acromion process and this is the coracoid process of scapula this is the glenoid fossa and this is the uh, subscapular fossa and here you have posteriorly there is spine of scapula and this is supraspinatus fossa supraspinous fossa and this is intra infraspinous fossa below the spinous process this is the lateral border this is the medial border and if you see this is the humerus so humerus here there is the upper end of humerus where there is head this is the head of the humerus here this is the neck of the humerus if you see this is the neck of the humerus and if you turn it this is the anterior view so if you turn it this is the greater tuberosity of humerus here if you see and if you see the uh, lesser tuberosity of humerus is here so and this is the lower end of humerus so first let us learn uh, so the main aim of this lecture is to learn the muscles of scapular region uh, so i would like to give you a view how the muscles of scapular region look like so i think uh you can look at this picture now right you can see both the ends of the scapula uh see you can see scapula humerus and the clavicle right so first the main muscle which is involved in the arm the main muscle which is involved which is the major muscle of the shoulder joint is the deltoid muscle okay so first let us learn what is the origin insertion now supply and actions of the deltoid muscle so i will just show you with these uh, bones and then i'll draw it so that you'll understand so this is the clavicle if my clavicle it is something like this if you see this is the medial end this is the lateral end medially there will be convex and laterally there is concave right so deltoid muscle i would like to keep it in a in the posterior position all the bones posteriorly so if you see uh, this is the medial end sorry um this should be like this this is the humerus this is the posterior part of scapula and this is the lateral pro, lateral part if you see lateral and medial end so it is something like this if you see posteriorly apart from muscles okay you see scapula like this you see humerus which is articulated to the Uh, head of the humerus articulated to the glenoid uh, fossa and you'll see clavicle here it articulates with the acromion and coracoid like this and medially it articulates with the sternum i don't have sternum so i'm just showing it like this okay so where is the origin of deltoid origin of deltoid is from the lateral one third of clavicle so i'll take some papers and i'll show you how the deltoid muscle originates okay so if this is the deltoid muscle 
okay it originates from the this is the clavicle lateral one third of the clavicle that one not from the posterior one anterior border see it originates from the anterior border of lateral one third of clavicle so it originates like this okay it originates like this from anterior border and it curves itself okay this is one origin and it also originates from the this is acromion process acromion process has two borders this is the medial border this is the lateral border okay one part it originates from the anterior uh, part of lateral border of scapula whereas uh, sorry lateral border of clavicle whereas the second origin is from the lateral border of acromion so it originates like this this is the second one okay a lateral border of acromion process uh, and then it also originates from the lower lip of the crest of spine so uh, if you see it has mainly three origins so i'll just take three papers and let you know how this uh, happens so if this is the first origin it originates from lower lip okay this is the first origin and the second it originates from the lateral border of the acromion process so it originates from here okay this is the second one and third it originates from the uh, upper end uh, i mean late, uh, late uh, lateral uh, one third and that too from the anterior border so it originates like this it curves so it curves like this this part also comes like this and this part also comes like this so here the muscle it originates like this and it curves it originates from here and it curves and it originates from the lower lip and it curves here and then all these parts all these lips curve together and they get inserted into the deltoid tuberosity of humerus so this is the deltoid tumor tuberosity of humerus so it gets origin uh, it origins from all these areas and it gets inserted here okay so this is about the deltoid muscle so what is the nerve supply of deltoid muscle it is it has um, it is mainly supplied by the axillary nerve okay let me draw this again just a small diagram so that you will understand it the same thing i'll draw it again okay so uh if this is the uh clavicle as i have said this is the clavicle uh here you will have the acromion process like this and here you'll have the humerus okay uh now uh this is the lateral end okay here you'll have the humerus and here you'll have the lower lip of the clavicle scapula and this is the scapula it's a rough diagram so where does the muscle originates from uh as i have said the muscle it originates from the anterior border of lateral part of it from here number 1 lip and then from the lateral border of acromion process it is from here and then from the lower lip of the scapula it originates like this and it curves in this way and it gets inserted into the deltoid tuberosity which is present in the middle part of the uh, humerus okay so this is about the deltoid muscle now the next muscle which i would like to teach you is the supraspinatus muscle okay uh, so posteriorly we will learn about each and every muscle which is there uh, and then uh, we'll go to the anterior aspect later so first posteriorly you will have number 1 uh, supraspinatus muscle so this is the supraspinatus muscle here the supraspinatus muscle it originates from the medial two thirds this is the supraspinatus fossa if you see here there is supraspinatus fossa which is around here okay here you'll have medial uh, one uh, two thirds and lateral one third okay in the medial two thirds of supraspinatus fossa it starts okay uh, so it starts in the medial two thirds of supraspinatus fossa that is the origin of supraspinatus muscle so it starts like this and it goes like this and it gets inserted into the greater tubercle of humerus so this is the greater tubercle of humerus if you see this is the head of the humerus this is the greater tubercle of humerus so it gets inserted into the greater tubercle of humerus 
and in the greater tu tubercle also it gets inserted into the upper impression of greater tubercle of humerus okay so this is supraspinatus muscle so it originates from here and it goes like this and it, so it originates from the supraspinatus fossa and then it turns like this and gets inserted into the uh, upper uh, impression of greater tuberosity of humerus so it somewhat goes like this okay so this is supraspinatus muscle so what is the nerve supply of supraspinatus muscle that is suprascapular nerve okay suprascapular nerve now uh, what is the next this, the, the next muscle is infraspinatus muscle so infraspinatus muscle it uh, originates from the medial two third of infraspinatus fossa so it originates here from the medial two third so this is the medial part medial two third of infraspinatus fossa so it originates in medial two third of infraspinatus fossa and it gets in, uh, inserted into the greater tubercle same has supraspinatus but it gets inserted into the middle impression of greater tubercle of humerus so if you see it starts from the infraspinatus fossa like this and it gets inserted into the middle uh, you know middle impression of um, greater tubercle of humerus so this is the uh, course how the infraspinatus muscle is located now what are the what is the nerve supply of infraspinatus muscle infraspinatus muscle the nerve supply is suprascapular nerve uh, so suprascapular nerve it supplies both the supraspinatus muscle and also the infraspinatus muscle okay now this is the third muscle of scapular region now the fourth muscle which we will learn is teres minor muscle so what is teres minor and where is it situated so teres minor muscle it starts in the lateral border of scapula where in the lateral border exactly it starts from the upper two third of um, dorsal surface of lateral border of scapula so if you see the teres minor it starts from the upper two third of lateral border of scapula this is the lateral border of scapula and it starts from the upper border so it starts like this okay it starts like this and where is it gets inserted so it is inserted into the so it is a smaller muscle child so, so it starts from the lateral border of the scapula and it gets inserted into the greater tubercle again okay greater tubercle of humerus but in the lowest impression of the greater tubercle of humerus so if you see uh, this is this is supplied by axillary nerve so if you see i have discussed after deltoid three muscles one is supraspinatus infraspinatus and there is minor all the three muscles gets inserted into the humerus and that too on the same point that is greater tuberosity of humerus but in the greater tuberosity they get inserted in th on three different uh, points so let me just draw a diagram so that you will understand how this happens okay small diagram i'm sorry uh, yeah it's just one diagram uh okay so if this is the uh scapula okay and think that this is the humerus okay this is the spine of the scapula and this is the acromion process and here you'll have the coracoid process i know it's anatomically a little diff a little wrong but just bear with me so this is the supraspinatus fossa so some from the supraspinatus fossa it comes and gets attached to the greater thing that this is the greater tubercle area okay so it gets inserted into the upper lip of greater tubercle here so it gets inserted into the upper part upper impression on the greater tubercle of humerus that is supraspinatus muscle infraspinatus it starts from the infra uh, spinatus fossa that to medial you know not completely it's medial to third of infraspinatus fossa it starts from here and gets inserted into the middle impression on the greater tubercle of humerus as the lower part it start on the other teres minor it starts from the upper two third it's not completely also it's upper two third from the uh, lateral border of scapula and it gets inserted into the lower um, impression on greater tubercle of humerus 
so you have three major things so if you see here there is supraspinatus insertion infraspinatus insertion and teres minor so these group of muscles are called as sit muscles and they are uh, really important muscles which are attached to the greater tubercle of humerus so this is about the three muscles which are seen uh, uh, from the scapula to the humerus so let us learn one more muscle uh, this uh, we will see in the okay mm, okay so this is how it is okay so now let us learn the other two muscles which are left in the scapular region so one of the muscle is subscapularis muscle okay uh, so uh, subscapularis muscle it is from here it's in the anterior part so if you see I'll, i'm just changing the muscles changing the bones okay yeah so it starts from the subscapular fossa subscapularis fossa so this is the subscapularis fossa it starts from the medial to third of subscapularis fossa it starts like this and it gets inserted into the lesser tubercle of humerus okay it starts from the medial to third of subscapularis fossa and gets inserted into the lesser tubercle of humerus so this is called as subscapularis muscle okay it starts from this if you wanted to see how it is so it starts here from this uh, in the subscapular fossa and it gets inserted this is the lesser this is the greater tubercle this is the lesser tubercle it gets inserted into the lesser tubercle okay so this is how it works so it, sta it starts from the subscapular fossa and then gets inserted into the lesser tubercle of humerus so what is the nerve supply it is supplied by two nerves upper portion by upper subscapular nerve lower portion by lower subscapular nerve okay so this is about the subscapularis now there is one more muscle which is important so that is teres major muscle uh, this is uh, seen on the posterior aspect if you see i'm just reversing everything uh, in the posterior aspect if you see i have already told i have already explained three muscles one is supraspinatus muscle infraspinatus muscle and teres minor muscle okay now let us learn where this where where teres major muscle is located so um teres major muscle it starts from the lower one third of dorsal surface of lay see this is the dorsal surface this is the lateral border so uh, on the lateral border lower uh, one third so lower one third of the lateral border of the dorsal surface of scapula it originates and then it gets inserted into the bicepital groove so if you see here there is bicepital groove so it gets inserted into the medial lip of bicepital groove so this is the uh, medial part medial uh, head is located sorry head is located medially in the humerus so medial lip is this one so it gets inserted into the medial lip of the bicepital groove so it's something like this so it starts here and it goes downwards anteriorly and it gets inserted into the medial lip of bicepital groove okay once i let me show me so let me show you again like this okay okay it's like this lower part of the humerus and it gets inserted into the medial lip of bicepital groove let me show you in an anterior view so that you'll get easy you get you'll understand it so this is the humerus oh sorry okay this is the humerus okay it starts i'm sorry uh, yeah it starts from the uh, on the dorsal surface it starts here so it starts somewhere here so it starts like this and then it comes anteriorly and here it gets inserted into the medial lip here so it's something like this so this is the teres major muscle okay what is the um nerve supply of teres major the teres major muscle nerve supply is lower subscapularis nerve so let me show you the diagram which i have drawn for all the muscles of the uh, scapular region okay and i'll just wind up the class with this diagram so if you see this is the one which i have drawn so this is the scapula so this is about the deltoid muscle and deltoid muscle it is supplied by axillary nerve and it arises from the uh, lateral uh, lateral 
uh, one third of the clavicle that to anterior border so this is the anterior border this is the posterior border it arises from the anterior border lateral uh, border of the acromion process and the lower lip of the uh, lower lip of the scapula okay spine of scapula so it uh, it uh, originates from these areas three areas and it gets inserted into the uh, deltoid tubercle which i have shown it's here okay deltoid tubercle of the humerus so this is about the deltoid muscle the other muscles which you see in the uh, scapular region is posteriorly this is the posterior part of scapula this is the humerus so one supraspinatus it originates from the medial sorry it originates from the medial two third of supraspinous fossa and it gets inserted into the upper lip of uh, greater tuberosity of humerus next infraspinatus it originates from the uh, medial two third of infraspinous fossa and gets inserted into the middle uh, impression on the greater tuber tuber tubercle of humerus whereas the other two muscles which are seen on the lateral border of scapula include teres minor and teres major teres minor it is seen on the upper two third this is the upper two third of lateral border of scapula and get in, gets inserted into the uh, greater tubercle that is the lower part, lower impression whereas the other muscle which is teres major it gets it uh, originates from the uh, lower part you know lower one third of lateral border of scapula and it gets inserted into the medial lip of bicipital groove so these are the different muscles which are seen in the scapular region in our next class we will learn about the muscles of the arm uh, thank you guys for watching my lecture thank you